Hello and welcome to our Learning to Cook Pizza journey. Today it's time for the Unicoda 16 eight month review. Let's do it. Even though I'm very happy to cook in the Unicoda 12, making my 10 inch pizzas going forward, the great thing about the 16 is that if you decide to cook either 10 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch or up to 16 inch pizza, you're not limited by the size and if you do prefer cooking bigger pizza, it just gives you more options of pizza size. However, making 15 inch pizza for me is a challenge. I am not good at stretching and I have to have some assistance from my mini pizza roller to get the stretch to that size. Without that roller, I wouldn't, at this stage in my pizza cooking journey, be able to make a decent 15 inch pizza. Check out my video here, which shows how I make a 15 inch pizza using a mini pizza roller. There is a technique to using it without messing up your pizza crust. I'm particularly fond of using this oven because it's so bright inside because of all the flames on the L-shaped burner. It's easy to see your pizza being cooked at the back and it just makes it easier to check on your crust cook, which is quite hard to do when you've got a dark oven that really doesn't light up the pizza, but this one, it really lights it up. It's, it's really good. And when I'm cooking sizzler pan dishes as well, nice to see it all lit up in there and see what's going on. Talking about the L-shaped flame burner, this I thought would lead to me burning a lot more of my pizza when I bought it, but I was wrong because keeping an eye on one side of the crust and the back at the same time is no different. You're just checking your crust all the time and it just makes it faster to cook with. After all my testing and pizzas I've cooked with it so far, it hasn't made it harder for me. If I am struggling with the flames for any reason, I either need to turn it down or make a smaller pizza in it. So just keep your eyes focused on the left and the back of the crust and you'll be fine. And rotate every 10 to 20 seconds, whatever's your style. It just cooks your pizza quicker. I cook with this oven on full flame and that suits my cooking style. However, this flame level is a personal thing. There's no right or wrong. It's better to cook on a lower flame if you want to achieve a crispy crust. If you want a fast 60 second cook, push it to the full flame. Either way, it's a personal choice. And if you are new to pizza cooking, I'd recommend making smaller pizza on a low flame and build up flame size and pizza size as your skills develop and once you've got to know your oven better. There's a good difference between the low flame cook and the high flame cook in that it does affect the speed of the pizza cook. So either way, cooking on high or low flame, there's no right or wrong and I find this oven cooks really well using both. I've tried both and I think you've got to be a bit more vigilant when you've got the oven on full flame because it, it is easier to, to over crisp your crusts. It's fine for the stone to be cooler away from the flames as long as it's 430 degrees centigrade at the center of your pizza cook it'll pick up all the higher and the lower heats of the stone, giving you an even cook as you rotate it. And looking at the pizza bases I've had, I think that's done it very well. The colder parts of the stone, when you rotate it, pick up the heat of the warmer parts of the stone. And therefore at the end, you'll get an even cook. With the wood fire ovens, you do have a door and that kind of brings the heat forward to the front of the stone. Be 
because they've pulled the, the gas burner up to the side, it pulls the heat to the front of the oven, albeit on the left side, but it's still more heat coming towards the front of the oven. Being able to carry a 16 inch pizza oven around that's portable, you can take it anywhere you want. I think that's pretty amazing. Carrying it without the pizza stone, it's much lighter. It's still heavier than the Unicode 12. However, it is portable and you can carry it around, take it away, move it around your garden, backyard. And that's a real bonus for a pizza oven this big that cooks big pizza and it's also portable. It makes it very versatile for my needs. So yeah, another thing that I've become very fond of with this pizza oven. I prefer the shape of the 12 inch pizza stone because it's handy for burning off debris because you can turn it over and you can turn it closer to the flame. With this stone you can't, you can only just turn it over. Other than that, it's not been an issue for me and it's still relatively clean after a lot of pizza cooking. So the greatest challenge for me over the last eight months using this oven was learning how to make a bigger pizza and then learning how to cook a bigger pizza, launching it off the peel, things like that. Once you've got the pizza onto the peel, the launch is pretty much the same as the 12 inch just gotta make sure that it can freely move off and you're good to go. The great thing is you've got a choice of still making smaller pizza until you feel comfortable making a bigger pizza in these ovens. One day you might wanna make a small pizza and the next day fancy a big one. I think that's that versatility that this pizza oven gives. These are the reasons why the Unicoda 16 is now my favourite in the Coda range. However, both of these ovens are super ovens. I still highly recommend the 12 inch and always will, but the 16 has the edge due to all the above reasons for me. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Enjoy your pizza cooking, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye. And don't forget to check out our website, gottoeatpizza.com. Link is below.